Last football season, it was a band formation. In January, a showboating dunk. And just this past Saturday, a pledge of sportsmanship filled, fueled the fire that is the K-State-Kansas rivalry. Wildcat fans signed an agreement to the positivity at the start of the basketball season, but as KUJH reporter Hank Havanero reports, when KU came to town, fans looked the other way. K-State fans are very loyal to their sports teams. However, sometimes they take it too far. This year for the KU-K-State game in Manhattan, Kansas State Athletics released a reminder of the sportsmanship pledge that students signed when they picked up their tickets. The pledge echoes themes of respect for all student athletes and the threat of ejection for the use of profanity. Overall, they are looking for class from their students. Some students did make signs that poked fun at KU coaches and players. Uh, my brother helped me out with the idea and everything, and Phil Self kind of had some comments about his player, Brandon Green, that it was kind of a rude move himself, so he kind of agreed with some people at K-State. And even a KU fan who sits in the front row finds some of the heckling fun. Yeah, I, I actually attend K-State. It's, it's a lot of fun. Um, I enjoy it. It's always a good game here in Bramlage, so hoping for a good game and a KU victory, obviously. But as for the students who would rush the court and the chance of a K-State victory, they say it's for their coach and players. The players want us to do it, coach wants us to do it, so here's to support our team. After the game, Bill Self and Wayne Selden were asked if they use KSU players' comments about storming and Green's dunk as motivation. No, not at all. Uh, you know what, it, it, I, I think it's fine that they made mention of, of the dunk. I think it's fine that the home team, you know, uses whatever motivation they can. No, we, you know, we're, we're pretty self-motivated, you know, no pun intended, but uh, we just come out and just try to uh, just play our, play our game and just get defense and stops and just get better. This was the first time since 2013 that KU won in Manhattan, which ultimately silenced the crowd. Reporting in Manhattan, Hank Kevinero, KUJH Sports.